Today, I will show you something truly amazing. The Insta360 X3, the latest edition of 360 camera. When we are talking 360 cameras, most of you know them and you're probably thinking about the countless of Tiny Planet postings that have been tormenting social media since the beginning. Tiny Planets are fun if they're used limited, but they are kind of gimmicky and you're getting bored doing them after a while. What most don't realize is that 360 cameras are so much more than this. It's a complete suite for versatile recording of video and photo. This will definitely change the way that you record videos as the recording part is the most uncomplicated. You simply just press record, put the camera in the sky and then worry about reframing the footage later when you get back home. No more say cheese to the camera as everything around the camera is captured and stored on the SD card. By reframing your footage multiple times, you can create a lot of different camera angles from the same shot. How cool is that? This is done by two protruding lenses located on each side of the camera combined with the new upgraded half inch sensor. The Insta360 X3 will then stitch automatically the footage from each camera to a full 360 video. One of the top selling features of this camera is the invisible stick. This makes it possible to create some angles that otherwise would be pretty impossible to do from a third person perspective. I got the extended selfie stick with my kit and I gotta say, I really love it. The thick handle and the relative light weight and the fact that it can be extended to three meters that offers some really great opportunities that would be pretty hard to do even with a drone. Just be careful not hitting anything with the camera when it's floating up there. 5.7K 360 video with active HDR. With the new upgraded half inch sensor, it's possible to shoot 360 videos with active HDR that will help you capture all the details when doing action in vivid 5.7K 360 up to 30 frames per second. Just start shooting and then select your favorite camera angle afterward through the Insta360 app. 4K single lens mode. Insta360 X3 can do this now where you can shoot wide angle footage just like a single lens action camera in up to 4K in the default field of view with in-camera stabilization. This will do wonders for your workflow and the quality actually looks pretty good thanks to the new upgraded half inch sensor. If you really wanna go wide, you have a second option to go to the widest field of view of 170 degrees at 2.7K. You will have to apply flow state stabilization plus 360 horizon lock as well as adjust the aspect ratio in post. But this wide angle option is perfect for first person view chest mounted shots like when you're riding a mountain bike. Me mode. With the introduction of me mode, you will be able to fix the frame on yourself. The benefits are the selfie stick will be invisible and you will be able to use 60 FPS, making it suitable for action. Resolution is fixed for 1080p. 8K time lapse. Take 360 time lapse videos in stunning 8K. This one was taken while walking at a vintage car show kicking some tires. So I decided to bring along the camera to share some footage with you. This is originally a 360 8K time lapse, but it has been adjusted to the aspect ratio of 69 for this video. Powerful editing suites. Your Insta360 X3 comes with access to a powerful suite of editing tools, where one of them is the AI powered Insta360 app that works both on Android and iOS. Reframing and working with your 360 footage is really easy and intuitive with the app. You can export your footage in all the known aspect ratios that matches your favorite social platform. This is perfect for short videos and you could very easily create something cool for social media when you're on the go. More heavy duty tasks can be solved with the Insta360 Studio 2022 desktop app that is compatible with both Mac and PC. 72 megapixel uh, 360 photos. Capturing 360 photos are perfect for sharing on social media platforms like Facebook. The resolution of the X3 has been bumped to a whopping 72 megapixel, which is supposed to be the most megapixel ever in a 360 camera. Let's take a closer look at the actual hardware. The camera is made in a rocketized design that feels great in the hand. It comes with a neoprene sleeve that helps protect the protruding lenses. The sleeve has a hole for battery charging on the side. That makes it a very compact design that slides nicely into your pocket, offering full protection. Because of the protruding lenses, it's very, very important that you never lay down the camera 
without protection. Because minor scratches, fingerprints, and even water droplets will result in a significant decrease in image quality. Pro tip, do not use lens guards and keep your lenses clean. Insta360 X3 comes with a 2.29 inch touchscreen with tempered glass. It features a newly designed menu that is well organized and the touch is responsive, making it easy to operate the camera even in bright sunlight. Battery life is fantastic. I've not tested how long it actually lasts. But going to a vintage car show where we spent the best part of three hours testing all the features on the camera, recording a total of 30 gigabyte of footage, I still had more than 50% power left when we were done. So I'm pretty happy with that result. The X3 is waterproof down to 33 feet or 10 meters. That is really nice so you don't need to worry about your camera being damaged when it's getting wet or even submerged underwater. For seamless 360 stitching underwater, you would need to pick up a dive case which is sold separately. When mounting the SD card in the camera next to the battery, you will see the water seals. Make sure that no red markings are shown as this is an indication that the door is not sealed. Goes without saying, if it's not sealed, you will damage the camera. Audio has always been a weakness of 360 cameras. But with four microphones strategically placed, it seems like an improvement and can definitely be used if the camera is in close proximity. It's very nice, there's an option to enable or disable wind reduction. There is also a speaker that will enable playback. Placing a camera at the end of a stick far away from you on a moving car and expecting good audio is kind of naive. But there's a way around that by getting the external audio dongle that will allow you to hook up an external microphone through a 3.5 millimeter jack. Apart from the power button, there are a few other buttons on the camera where you can start and stop recordings, switch between custom settings, etc. The record button can furthermore be configured as a quick shot button that will allow you to get started recording right away without having to power on the camera through the power button. There's also a button that will easily allow you to switch between the two single lenses as well as 360 mode. As well as a power LED that will let you know the current status of the camera. The Insta360 X3 is charged through the USB-C port on the side. That will also allow you to hook up the camera directly to a computer for live streaming as a webcam. The camera can be attached to a tripod through the quarter inch thread located in the bottom of the device. So what do I think about it? I really like it so far and I'll be using this camera more as part of my workflow when I'm vlogging on the road. If you like what you have seen in this video and want one for yourself, I've included a link where you can purchase it in the description below. I do want to say this camera is not for professionals as it has some limitations under challenging light conditions. And that is okay because it's a consumer grade camera. But for content creators like me and maybe you that just want an all round suite that makes it very easy for you to make engaging and fun a content for social media, it's a really good match. And with the latest upgrades, it's a perfect all-in-one recording studio for me to bring along when I'm producing content for you when I'm on the road. If you have any additional questions about this camera, then pop them in the comments below and then I might do a follow-up video later. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.